Hello, and let's go over the radial UV distortion material function. It basically makes your texture into a radial one. So let's preview this and get a noise normal going. Uh, I'm just going to grab this one for now, make it a texture object, and plug in the noise map. And you can see it's going already. Now, as you can see here, there is some line going on. Generally, you won't really notice it. Players generally don't seem to notice it at all. But in the case that it, you find it annoying because we FX artists are generally OCD-ish, you can set the MIP level to absolute and that line will be gone there. Okay, so what can we do with this? Well, if you want, we can change the UV channel for the noise that we want to change, but we don't really need that. We can change the ring panner speed. So let's do that. One, it rotates quite a bit. Let's do a low value. And if I increase the second one, it goes in and out a bit more. Like, or the three might be look better. Let me disable that one so you can really see it. It moves inwards now and at minus O.3, it moves outwards. There. Now, let me move that one real quick and let's get a noise texture scale going. The noise texture scale increases or decreases the size of the noise normal that you're using. There we go. At zero, it's obviously not working, but this should be the normal value. If I do two, you get more and more repeating of that noise. And this actually looks quite trippy and nice. Too. Okay. Let's also increase that one, and you can really see what's going on here. So play around with the value to change the scale of the texture. There's also the noise map strength. And that basically is how much of the UV, UV noise you want to add. At the moment, there's no UV noise. And at one, it's quite over the top. And you can go as high as you want, of course. But it kind of results in very weird results. Generally, I kind of want to do low values, like O2 or something. It also depends a bit on how strong that, that normal map is. If I pick this one, for instance, it's a bit more strong. You should see a bit more result at lower values. There. Now, let me add ring banner speed back for just a little bit more motion. You can already see some motion here, but let's do O.1 and O.2 dot, and O.2 dot or so. There. Now, this input is not used, it's just for a line break for some other functions in here. The top four are mainly for the noise texture. The bottom ones are to affect the texture that it's applied to. So let's go over those. Uh, I can change the texture scale. Uh, let's get a V2. And uh, let me grab another texture for that example. That shows a little bit more tiling. Okay. Obviously you need to change the texture scale to something like one and one. And let's get a little bit more of a darker texture. There. At the moment it's tiling once on each angle. But maybe we want to tile it twice, or three times, or four times, five times, etc. And the same goes for the outwards one. At the moment it's tiling once, two, three, four times, a half a time. And if you also uh, pen it inwards a little bit more, like minus out of 5. Get something a bit more like this. Actually, out of 5. There. Now we can also change the penner speed of this one. So I need another factor too. Now it's not rotating at all. But at one, it's rotating quite fast. So let's do a low value. And I also can pen it outwards or inwards like this. Let me change the texture scale to 1 and 1 again. And maybe pan it outwards instead, there. Now let's say you don't want to move it or you have a specific line that you kind of want to tweak. You could always use the ring texture mover. This is basically a way to nudge the texture inwards or out outwards a little bit. So, order two, order three. 
and a debug time sign. Oh, might show it a little bit better there. And each texture obviously gives a different result. Now let's add some noise strength back to it again. And remove the debug time sign. Just to show you a few examples of what you can get. Noise normal really changes the look of the effect. And what if I want to kind of have cubes, you got something like this. A more wavy result gives me this. And every normal map gives a different result. The same for, as you already seen, the noise masks result in a lot of trippy cool effects. So use what you need, create what you want, and play around with it. That should be it. Alright, take care.